What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am super blessed today because I am bringing you a fantastic game project. Before I get into it though, you know the score. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. I do this for educational purposes. I do it so I can sit here, hang out, get stuff on your radar so we can all make a little bit of money. Hopefully, let's get straight into it. So here we go guys, it's Mytherium, all right, dot I-O. Now that's the website at the top we've got about our partners, Korea, and we've got the join community button. That's going to take you straight to the Discord, right? Super pumping in there. I'm going to show you it later on, and you can click start game. So they've actually stopped this button working for the start game, but I have got the access to show you a little preview, all right? So stay tuned. Up the top right, you're going to collect your blessed tokens with MetaMask. So connect your MetaMask and get these blessed tokens. I don't have any on this account. But I'll show you when they come more apparent very, very soon. So what have we got? we got the drive economy strategy. That's one of the ways, okay? So develop your settlement and focus on resource production. Don't forget the risk. Certain conditions will require you to defend your thriving economy. Please remember all the links are going to be down below if you want to get on this already. Super, super cool, all right? This game's incredible. Set up military power for others that play tribute to you. Intermediate, use the threat of military invasion or get their resources through siege and battles. Or you could be the ruler. Right? You can be the ruler's game. In influence in-game dynamics, organize players into communities, foreign alliances, plot and betray friend or foe. So if I'm playing, please make me your friend so we can form an alliance. If not, I'm going to have to battle you and I'm going to have to take you down. All right. It's super, super good. Like I said, these blessed tokens. All right. You can actually claim them here. Read more about that or go to the Discord. I'm going to show you the Discord so you can actually see it. But what you've got, all right, you're moving around this map. And you can actually hire an army. So you create composition of troops, things like that. Like I said, make friends of foes. Moving around the map and you have a choice of targets to attack. You have mechanics. You have troop movements. You have all different strategies you have to use, right? Super intriguing. Really, really cool. And the best bit, military clashes. You could just be walking through and you see our channel's army. And you either want to make friends or you want to battle to their death, all right? Super, super cool. Now, let's have a little sneak peek into this game. So, here we go, guys. A little sneak of what we're doing, all right? So, this is where you can actually edit your banner, as you can see. So, you start to create a unique banner to your settlement. This one here we've called Ben. And it's got a bear on it. It's purple with a bit of a arrow movement at the bottom. All right, you can change that like this to dark blue. This has got a unicorn on it for Denny. So you can all have your own different flags, right? You don't have to even have the same each one in your clan. So new settlement, you can create your own banner. You type in your banner name on the left here and you start to put whatever you want, okay? So HTY banner, I want to choose my Discord tag if you want. So you can put that in there. Select your canvas. So if you want to select your canvas, just choose it. I want this one. And then you go to your topping, all right? So you can have that skull on top, which is cool eagle as the thing or deer oh this raccoon and then you can have your symbol all right choose your symbol at the bottom and then a the color that you want to do now have a look so we can go lime green we can go gray we can go white then you're going to connect your metamask it is an nft so you are going to have to use the blockchain to confirm this right that's how nfts work and then we're moving through parts of this game so that's the banner finish now guys we're going to look at different kind of buildings so you can see here we've got a farm all you got to do is go to your different tokens. So we've got M tool, we've got M wood, we've got M copper. All these different things, right, that you can get in the treasury and you can harvest these in the game. Okay, super incredible that all these tokens are linked through the blockchain as well, like I just said. So this is your food treasury. It represents the capacity of food that can be robbed from the farm. Upon robbery, property level will be decreased. So if you get raided, if you get sieged, okay, the property level is going to go down. So do not let me near that farm because I am needing some copper right now now okay really really cool you can see in the top right we got the prosperity it's 34 and it's going up and up and up everything you do you've got to confirm on the blockchain all right so this is your different kind of buildings and you've got settlers there you can see now they need meat to carry on so you need to keep harvesting that meat this shows you how much you're going to get every single hour and how much you can upload all right so you've got the buildings and the settlers and that's how we start this game off super super interesting all you got to do is a bit like them old games like runescape things like that and then once you get more intrigued you can start picking different buildings so you can see lumber mill copper mine smithy forge things like that but you need the materials for it right so you got to get the farm to go in the settlers go in get the treasury collected then get them and just build this huge huge settlement interesting right now let's show you how to actually make an army so you need to have a barracks once you've got enough like i said of the materials 
Okay, then you're going to go across and you can see here your army is currently located at Ben's settlement. So it's going to be at yours and you currently have 245. So the capacity of your army is defined by the capacity of your settlement fortification. Okay, now you need pikes to get this going and you can make an army. So 245, the max is going to be there. That's your army quantity. It's a number that represents how many units your current army actually has. Okay, that's what we got to do. You've got to do that, keep farming, keep getting them in, and we can then build an incredible army. Super, super simple, super easy. You can either have infantry, archer, or horse riders just on this one, okay? So that's what you're getting, and your military stats across battle phases. So you actually get, it shows you if you're more attacking, if you're more defending, or if you're in the battle phases, all right? Super, super cool. So guys, what I'm going to show you now is how you move around the map. So you can see here, you just click and drag. And then all you got to do is you find these hexagon squares, right? So you can see where your army is, where your infantry is, what kind of tactics you're going to move around. And you just click on it and click maneuver, right? You see that in the bottom left, it's maneuver. And then you can actually start moving through these hexagons. Now, you obviously have to have a look what's going on there. So like it says, maneuver, initiate it. It's going to take you 18 hours, all right? And this, you can speed it up to it faster by using some of your treasury. And it choose how many you're going to send. All you've got to do is click confirm, and it's going to ask you to confirm. Super easy how you go around. Try and get it fast as you can because you never know who's going to come. Right, guys, now the mechanics of a siege, all right? So you can see here the besieging. You've got to go through all of this to have to actually get the siege going you want to go on your aggressive besieging evenly split or your passive raiding all right your different kind of tactics then you choose all the dips so this bottom left you can see is where you go scroll through the menu now you want to actually have a look all right so you can exchange results of your raid into resources that are available to besiege settlement treasury so you can actually swap them around so once they've gone on raids they come back in and we will start getting them ready for the siege right you see here you just hover over any point if you're confused just hover over what is done and it'll tell you what more you need so we've got meat here we've got the food treasury pumping okay for the army we don't have the wood so going back you can switch between so i want to attack you got to click on the banner and click attack attack the army of the besieger so all that means is you're going to attack that army all right you've got zero guards zero army ready to go so we won't be able to attack that but the raiders you can actually liquidate so they're up raiding but you can liquidate them and actually get them back involved again just hover over if you're struggling and it will actually show you how to do it okay guys so at the end of the summer all right they are planning another test for players so do not be upset if you can't get on right now it's a preliminary distribution of blessed tokens required to enter the game but they're actually going to do another test which is incredibly cool all right super super cool i'm excited for that i just want to quickly show you that the links are down here if you want to click on discord if you want to click on twitter they're all down below okay please only use trusted links guys that is it for today incredible game is going to blow up please go on their socials and let them know george sent you and you're from this channel please 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 keep supporting us like you've been doing i'm so grateful hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit the bell if you cannot wait for me to bring you the next one which is going to be pretty soon hint hint okay have a very blessed day and i will see you on the next video